This week is Antimicrobial Resistance Week. Uh, all around the world, it's the chance for all of us uh, to be part of the solution against this big problem. Antimicrobial resistance uh, is causing illnesses that we have become used to being able to treat to become untreatable. We all have a role here, both as medical practitioners, health practitioners more broadly, and the wider public uh, to really consider this issue. So antimicrobials are those group of drugs that we use to treat infections caused by bacteria, fungi, viruses, or parasites. And if those drugs become ineffective uh, through resistance, then we've got a problem. Continued use and misuse or overuse of those drugs will lead to resistance. So it's very important that we uh, practice stewardship and, and appropriate uh, and responsible use of those drugs. The theme this year for Antimicrobial Resistance Week is spread awareness, stop resistance. We should all be telling the stories of the issues of antimicrobial resistance. Uh, we need to consider what we can all do in playing our own part in relation to stopping this problem. So World Antimicrobial Awareness Week is an important week in the calendar that reminds us of our shared responsibility around the use of antimicrobials. We use antimicrobials to treat infections not only in people but also in animals. So if we have livestock or companion animals, we treat infections and prevent infections through the use of antimicrobials. But that use and indeed our own use in humans also has an impact on the environment because those antibiotics get into the environment into our waterways, into our uh, soils, and have an impact again on our own resistance and our, our own uh, infection with uh, resistant bacteria. So the Australian government uh, has launched a strategy and this is our second five year strategy. But the difference about this strategy is that it lays out a 20 year vision and the scope is uh, extended also. So previously we only considered antibiotics, but now we're considering uh, antivirals, antiparasiticides, and antifungals. So a much broader scope in our consideration. We've also extended the scope in terms of uh, the impact on the environment and to consider the food chain. So can antimicrobial resistance be passed through the food that we eat? And how do we address that uh, risk? So this reflects the shared responsibility and to reflect that shared responsibility, we have worked with a large range of stakeholders in developing the strategy and in developing the action plans that sit under the strategy. As practitioners, we can definitely consider how we prescribe and what we use antimicrobial drugs uh, to treat. For example, there is no reason and no need and in fact no point in giving anti biotics to treat a virus. Uh, they don't work, they're not necessary, and they can help uh, to build this problem of antimicrobial resistance. So my message for health practitioners, only use the medications when you're prescribing that you know will work uh, against diseases where they will work. For the wider community, for all of us, we need to consider what we do with these precious commodities, these antimicrobial medications, antibiotics, antivirals, antifungal agents. Uh, it is very important that we uh, don't put pressure on our, on our GPs to, to prescribe things that won't be necessary. Uh, the, if you do have antimicrobial medications, that you only use that for yourself. It's been prescribed for a partic particular illness, for a particular person, and so sharing antibiotics or antivirals uh, is not a good idea and in fact can be harmful. Finally, if you have some of these medications left over after you've finished your course, um, please dispose of them properly. All pharmacists now have a role to play in collecting these medications and disposing of them properly. Particularly, do not flush them down the toilet. Uh, that will just enter into the, into the water systems and can indeed itself drive antimicrobial resistance in the wider environment uh, and in animals as well as in humans. So we all have a part to play this year uh, to spread the awareness of this issue as well as to help to stop resistance. And thank you.
for playing your part? So we've put together a large amount of information, uh, not only the strategy, but the, the action plans and uh, public uh, communications materials that are available on the Australian government website, www.amr.gov.au.